Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Halloween season. See the uh, rancho is all decorated at the front here. I'm here with Missy again, and this is a special day for Jen and I. It's our 100th Friday night restaurant review, and I'll tell you, Jen, it's hard to believe. You know, 100 reviews, and probably more when you add stuff that we did on the road and other things and I think that's really an achievement to be proud of and thousands of people have watched those reviews and we have gotten a lot of positive comment from people that appreciated know before you go and uh, like the reviews and like what we had to say and thought for the most part that we were pretty much on point we started out and you know we kind of liked everything because we were just used to eating plain simple grew up and I've noticed as time has gone by we have got more I don't want to say picky but more discerning in what makes a good restaurant and it's not yeah. just all about the food it's the whole the Mrs. Jan call it the, the gestalt the uh, say it once for him. gestalt yeah the gestalt I like to hear her say that in German did you say the service Service, the cleanliness of the establishment. Um, did just, they get your order right? It's been a right. big one How long did it take till the food got there? The temperature of the food? Do they. Presentation's uh, been big with you. Right, presentation. You know, is the assembly of the hamburger good if you take a hamburger or. I mean, just the whole the style, the whole spiel, the whole spiel needs to be from harmonious. The whole, needs to the be whole shebang needs to be uh, top flight. Right. So we got a bit of a bit of a fun foodie tonight. We're not going to let the cat out of the bag. We really racked our brains on number one hundred. What to do? And then I proposed an idea to Missy Jen, and she said, yes. Okay, so we'll see you over there at our designated restaurant. Okay, let's get going. What do you do, Missy Jen, when you've gone through uh, 99 places so far? What do you do? You come to your place and start it all. And yes, we are back. Betty's Fish and Chips tonight on November 21st, 2015. Our first Friday night foodie occurred right here. Let's go in and check it out and see if it is as good as the one. Because I'll tell you what, if we had not had a good first experience that night, we might not even have done Friday right, night. We might have just have forget it. It's not even worth it. We'll just eat it up. So let's head in, guys, and see if it's as good as it was in 2015. Woo! Here we go guys while Missy Jen is entertaining the troops here and my new friend from Chicago here. We've got the coleslaw, we got the chips, and we've got uh, it looks good, doesn't it? So get busy and eat while it's hot. I'm gonna get busy and eat while it's hot. So you heard it from the boss here, so there we go. Really into sports. Yeah, I love sports. Yeah. Who is the only rugby player to have his face in the cover of a uh, sports illustrator? I have no, I'd never followed rugby. Yeah. So. That would be Okay. Rugby club. There we go. You learn something new every day. Well, anyway, guys, here we go. This is really unusual uh, potato salad. This has pineapple in it, you know? Oh, that should Which be is good. very unusual, yeah. Good. The fish is off the hook. Everything is excellent over here. Very good coleslaw, a little different than your usual. There's coleslaw in there. Yeah, there's definitely coleslaw in there. Yep. Coleslaw in here, and there's uh, pineapple, pineapple in here too. That's good. Very good. What do you think, Missy Jen? This place is jamming in here tonight. I mean, we are jammed in here. This kitchen is flying back here. How's that fish and chips? Huh? Pretty good? Yeah, they are good. There we go. Loving it. Chicago style. Right and there. Sir, hot. <laughs> Try a little piece. 
Don't deprive yourself. Have one for sugar. That's just the whipped cream. You gotta get, take a piece of that, damn it. Dig in there. Take a bite. Do it Chicago style. One for the team. One for the cubbies. There you go. Oh, for the cubbies, yes. <laughs> you got to make, make sure you get some lemon. Do I have it? Yeah, you got some lemon there. Try it, There you go. Good. Very good. All right, guys. Delicious. All right. Chicago approved right there. <laughs> I mean, it was more like a tart than a pie, but it was really good. Your eyes were really big. It was the best of the best. The best of the best. The grand finale. The grand finale. Eating very well. We met some people from Chicago tonight, which was kind of cool. To share a little of my experiences with them, and they were like, "Yeah, all right." You know? I said, "Chicago is a big food city." I mean, Marshall was a hundred percent. Absolutely correct. In my life, Hong Kong and Chicago have been the two biggest, well, San Francisco to some extent, to three very huge, and maybe New York, four very huge foodie cities in, uh, in the United States. So now we're going to add Betty's Fish and Chips. <laughs> Of Santa Rosa, California. <laughs> well, I'm going to give this a nine star today. Yep. If you ever come to Santa Rosa, you got to come here and eat. Nine stars, guys. There it is. Peace out. <laughs> give her peace out. Woo! $400 sign to get you to buy a $6 beer. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for holding the door. Okay, here we go. It's not as crowded as it was last time, I can tell you that. Let's go grab a booth over here. Uh, Alright. I think we have to... Uh, the menus and order up front. I don't know. Here's some menus. Thank you. <laughs> Continuously serving for 50 years, and we were here two years Thank ago you. almost. So, all right. It was the beginning of a wonderful. 99 restaurant 99 run. 99 restaurant reviews. And hopefully now a continuation of 100. Yeah, it's kind of fun to go back sometimes and revisit. We've done it before. Yeah. And we'll probably go to Bruno's again, which was our number one for two years in a row. And, and we yeah. went twice there. We went twice. It was still killer in oh. every single way. And oh. I'm sure we'll be back there again. We'll, we'll, you know, in a couple of weeks, we'll be hashing it over what, what we think for 2016 and 2017, what was our big number one yeah. foodie experience. Perfect. All right, I guess uh, we'll look at the menu and get started. I'm going to have the same thing I had before, the two pieces. I had three pieces before. It was way too much. I was almost sick. So, yeah, the two piece. Get a beer too tonight, I think. Coors Light sounds good. And they still have that lemon cloud pie, six ninety-five. I think it was four bucks before, maybe five dollars. I'm not sure. Nice little units though, these GoPros, so they really do a nice fish and chip here, don't they? Yeah. We came here two years ago. Have you come out of town then? No, we just, we review restaurants every Friday, so we've done 99. This was the first one. Yeah, for, for a YouTube channel, a YouTube channel. 
So this was the first one we did, and we've done 98 since then. So oh this, gosh. we're back to do 100 where it all began. And that, that little camera, isn't that Yeah, a it's camera? a little GoPro, you know? Small, it's easy, it doesn't freak people out. You don't look like Dan Rather coming in. <laughs> Better call FEMA to bring those FEMA trailers. Yeah, yeah with all the chemicals inside of them. And we have the one in that thing. Yeah, the formaldehyde. So, have you ever tried your pastries? I haven't had one in years. They said the lemon cloud pie. They are so good. Let me go and take a look at them. I want to get good. Oh, yeah, they look good. And so, is that one of the bottles? Yeah, is that a, that's a strawberry rhubarb. Yeah. Sold on site, right there. All right, strawberry rhubarb. Woo! There you go. That, I think I will. See if it's as cold as the first time I did. Delicious codfish. 
And they're also, they spice them really nice. The batter. It actually takes the fish, it's not killed by the Right. The batter is not too thick and overwhelming. As you can see, it's kind of transparent. So it's really nice, well done fish. They even gave me a little extra piece here. I got like a kind of like a three and a half four piece. That's good. Mm. So I have four to go one step. Oh. We can give her that. But yeah, the fish is really well done. Really nice seasoning. There we go. And everything, the battering, really nice done. And let me check out one of the fries. Nice and crispy. Not oily or anything. Good deal. And those are, as you can see here on this here, it's got still the potato peel on it. So these are actually home yeah. fries. So yeah, coleslaw or anything. Sure, do you want a side? Yeah, a little bit of side. One side. Oh, okay. yeah. So these are home fries. It's got the potato peel so on there. Looking good. So quality fries. Thumbs right. up for that. I'll go ahead and I'm going to get myself a little coleslaw for a side. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Woo. That's premium fish. I went ahead and I ordered a little side of coleslaw too. I'm going to give that a try. I'm not sure if I tried that last time or not. That is really fresh and it has some apple bits in it, which is very interesting. That's tasty. It looks fresh. I mean, it's incredible, incredibly tasty. It's incredibly fresh. That's a winner. You see people are buying the little pies. They make the tiny little pies there. They look like six inch pies. Lemon cloud is their signature pie. People buying them up. Alright, here's the tail of the tape at Betty's Fish and Ship. We had my portion 1624. Jen had the uh, Hungry Gal 2425. I had a side of slaw too. A coffee and a um, Coors Light. So all in we were $53.99, which I think was uh, was pretty righteous, Jen. I think it was a. It's as good as I think it's as good as it was. It might be a little more expensive, but it's as good as it was for me. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we'll uh, pay up and we'll see you outside. I can tell you one thing, it's a lot less crowded than it was two years ago. Hey, it was it was about the three weeks later when we went the first time. It was definitely colder. And a lot of people on this side of town have now been impacted can by I the Can I get fire. changed? Are you okay? No, you're all good. Thank okay, you. all right. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah, me. no problem. All we'll right. Keep doing your... Yeah, we are. You can okay. watch it tomorrow. The review okay. will be up. Number okay. 100. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So a lot of people have been impacted by the fire and they're not going to be, uh, a lot of people are out of the area still evacuating and stuff. So. But it's starting to fill up a little bit now, you can see. All right, see you guys outside. Look at how nice Lori is, huh? We're going to get a little, little, uh, little lemon pie. Look at that. Woo, look at that. Thank you, Lori. You're welcome. Love you guys. Thank you. It's great, isn't it? Thank you. Have a wonderful night, okay? okay Bye. Bye. Ooh, I like a freebie. Here you go, Missy Jen. I must have that hangdog face they saw. Ooh. Well, Missy Jen, we must have had that look that said fetus. We got a free piece of the lemon pie. When she found out it was the 100th review that we're doing tonight, and theirs was the very first place that we reviewed. November 21st. 
2015, she was very excited. She said, uh, looking forward to the review tomorrow. And I'll tell you, it's as good, Missy Jen, as it was in 2015. A lot less crowded, but it's picking up. But uh, I'll let you go first tonight. I hope that they will have a lot of people coming in and that their business will continue to thrive because the fish was just incredible, it was delicious, it was like, you cannot even tell that it's deep fried or anything, it's no grease or anything, really thin batter, really nice flavor, great, it's just really awesome probably the best fish I've had going out to eat period and we've done three <coughs> fish places before we did a place down in Roner Park yeah. it was and then we did another place Louis or something in yeah. the other side of town. And I think yeah. this was probably not the, the best yeah fish I think it's, it's held up as the we best had, so and service uh, the service was excellent as, as it was the first time. The establishment is very, very neat and clean. I really like that. They have a really awesome decoration. I totally love that. I love Dig that. that. Whale there. I love the whale, the fishes on the wall, and everything. Um, the fries were home fries made from potatoes. They were really tasty and uh, well cooked. Yeah. I think the food is, I think the fish is the real star though. I mean, you can do with that everything else and you still right. feel great right. eating so, that fish. Yeah. You know? So you have to eat it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so and the you, fish is a total slobber knocker, as they say in Texas. I haven't heard that for a while. And uh, so I think it was another home run. And I really don't see much that they can improve, but I, I'm going to give them a 9.5. Okay. I'm going to give them a 9.5 too, Missy Jen, just because the fish is such an excellent white fish. It's, it's like you might say to yourself, two of you ate for $50, but two of us ate really well and we got a premium yeah. fish that a lot of places that you go and order fish fillet you're eating shark now you're eating other uh, other kind of trash fish it's all pressed together and made into this a fish. Was this premium, was real, real deep water atlantic cold cod here and that cold water cod and it's excellent it itself is worth the price of right. eating here the place <laughs> is tiny they could use a little more space i'm sure they jam up at times here but like Jen said, the service is outstanding yeah. here. Yeah, very and nice. And the food is good. The coleslaw was remarkable. It had a little bit of pineapple in it and stuff. And it really blew me away. I was, if you're used to the usual seafood, yeah, coleslaw. This was, this was a real tongue tip over here. This you could really see good. that it was fresh. You it was see fresh. It. it was good. And then to top it all off, Lori, who was here two years ago, I sure remember her. I do too. Gave us a piece of the lemon cloud pie. She's not trying to buy a good review. <laughs> Alright guys, 9.5 stars. 9.5 stars for Jen and I. A trip down memory lane here tonight with Betty's Fish and Trips. Our 100th foodie. So if you're ever in the Santa Rosa area, come down here on Sonoma, Sonoma Highway. Highway. And stop by at Betty's Fish and Chips and Betty's Bakery Combo and have yourself a really nice piece of fish. Alright everybody, thanks so much for being along for number 100. You know you got to look forward to it a few more. We're going to be picking our favorite of 2016-17 and going back and trying it again, okay? Between now and then, we've got more Friday night restaurant reviews ahead. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah. All right, top lady. Woo! <laughs> Run over my foot. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs>
<laughs> tough lady, yeah, very tough lady. All right, there we go. Ooh, we're out of here.